Okay, guys, today we are going to make a field of flowers, FOF. And this is by Melinda Barlow. She's a CZT. Uh, this looks like a whole lot of fun. You know, last week I was challenged with a bunch of grids. We were all challenged with grids. This week we are doing a lot more free flowing kind of things. So that's exciting. Okay, now she makes a, a point to say that the green is pencil. So you're going to make yourself a pencil border, right? And in the corner of that border, you're going to put a little arc and fill it in. And then you're going to do an aura. Okay? And then you're going to do some scallop petally thing. Then number four, you're going to do another arc and fill it in. And then number five, you're going to do another aura and some more uh, petally thing, right? And then number six, you're going to continue to build and then shade. And you end up with stacks of flowers in some manner, right? And they can go, I think the reason she says to make this in pencil is so that you have kind of a, a place to go, an edge, but they don't have to. Look at how, how in her sample, you know, this one's up against the edge, but then these came out outside of her edge, which would be why you want to make a pencil border to start with, because, yeah, you do, because some of them can spill out over your border. So I'm going to do that, and we're just going to... Just gonna follow along what she's got here. I'm gonna go ahead and make a kind of a small-ish pencil border because I want to be able to have room here to um, spill over if I f am so led to do so. So I'm gonna put kind of a smallish pencil border in here. Something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and start in her corner like she did. I'll start right there. I could do without that. Oh, maybe not. I'm sorry. I thought I could pull off this band-aid off my finger. But yeah, not good. I'm putting it back on. Okay. So you guys can tell how many videos I've done in today's lesson or today how many days I've because I didn't have the same band-aid on. Okay. So then we make a little aura. And then we make some petally like shapes like that, kind of a squarish petally thing. <laughs> With maybe some of that happening. And then another one coming out here. I neglected to fill in this middle part, the first one. Okay, that's better. And then an aura. 
and then petally like shapes and so forth and so on. And we're just going to kind of build them around. Go inside the box, outside the box, ignore the box, whatever. These little guys need some of them are sticking more out than others. You see more of the middle, right? Like this sort of shape for the petal, sort of a non shape shape. I think this one is going to go this way. And it's going to come out of the box because I said so. I want one on top here. Or maybe in the corner here. Maybe in the corner here. Woo! Sun's coming out from behind the cloud. I am glad I got my umbrella up. I know it sounds really strange that I have an umbrella in my living room, but I do. My husband is so patient. I was taking this umbrella up and down every day when I drew because I thought it was silly that I had this umbrella in the living room. And then I got tired of taking it up and down and trying to, because it, in order to get it attached just right, I have to tape it to my tripod, which is awkward. Uh, so I got tired of taking it up and down and getting it just right every time. I've just left it up. He's a patient man. Best man in the world. So I'm not doing anything special or spectacular here. I'm just 
kind of making a squiggly. My squiggles have changed over since the time I started this to this. They look not exactly the same, but since I'm still doing the same um, kind of thing, they they all belong in the same world here. And how am I deciding where things go? I don't know. It just... I'm just choosing. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Oops. I didn't kind of do what I... I should have stopped at the border, but that's all right. Maybe I'll have one sticking out here. A little one. Come outside the box. Come outside the box. Because, you know, not everybody lives in the box. And sometimes the box is more comfortable. Sometimes you prefer your box. That's okay too. I'm gonna put a little one out here. Perhaps one up here. And then, how do you decide you're done? You decide you're done when you say, I'm done. That's how you decide. I think I need one more something right here. I think she's done. Well, no. She's 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 wanting one right here. Take it back. She's talking to me. Okay, now she's done. Yeah. How did I decide that? I don't know. I just I just feel like I feel like she's done. And then this is field of field of flowers. F O F field of flowers and then the shading 
important, very important with this one. There's so much overlap. You really need to do some shading here. And I'm going to also shade my box to give those guys in the corner a reason to be there. edges where they overlap and there's a lot of overlap on that one okay I'm gonna use my little one am I anywhere near the page there we go look up and see what you're doing there Dono a little bit of something even though it's kind of floating out there by itself it doesn't really have an overlap I missed one. I missed a spot. Okay, so now I just need to shade that. My box part. Get out the bigger one. go. There's my field of flowers. Oh, well, that was fun. That was easy. Easy for me anyway. Might not be easy for you and that's okay. Your journey is your journey. That was easy for me and I enjoyed myself and, and, and look at that. Take a moment when you're finished to really appreciate your tile and to enjoy it. This is a really wonderful process and you need to have fun with it. So enjoy your tiles. All right, you guys have a really blessed day. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be here one way or another. I'll make it. All right, you guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.